<laughs> I actually haven't had a tattoo removed. What's ironic is my husband is a laser tattoo technician. <laughs> I wanted to know if you've ever removed a tattoo. If I mean, not like personally, I've not come up to somebody with a cheese grater and been like, today is the day, motherfucker. I've never got tattoos removed, honestly, because I heard that it wasn't really that good for my complexion, like it's harder. You know, I've never had a tattoo laser removed completely. But I have hit myself with the that with the laser gun. But I've got a tattoo covered of a, you know an ex, and I actually was wanting her off me so bad that I didn't care about the design. I just got black scribble on my wrist. <laughs> I haven't, and it's partially because I was never really around that as much. Now I have uh, friends who do that kind of stuff, so I'd be more inclined to try. Um, but I think so far I haven't gotten to a point where something couldn't just be covered up. All my tattoos have some kind of story or meaning or, you know, behind it, memory behind it. So, um, yeah, I, I've never gotten any tattoos removed. I'd like to remove one. <laughs> so we're in this tattoo shop at midnight, you know, probably later than that. And then a friend of mine just pulls out this laser tattoo removal gun. And we're like, whoa, that's awesome. So we just started blasting each other with it. Well, it's, he wears shorts a lot around my house, and when we're eating with my parents, they can see his legs, and your friend decided to write titty on his leg. Oh! My teacher, Diego Hernandez, he had one of those uh, tattoo remover machines in the in, in the basement, and every time they used to remove tattoos, it used to smell like bacon down there. So Ashley Benson tattooed me, and um, she, I gave her just basically, I was like, whatever you want to tattoo on me, and she just went ahead and freehanded the word titty. So when I looked down, I was like, why did she do that? I have never had any of my tattoos removed personally, so... I wouldn't know how a laser ring really feels like, nor do I really want to experience that. So I have gotten a few tattoos removed. Um, when I realized that tattoo removal was a thing and existed and they could use the laser and take it off, I thought it was a great idea. And then I got it done and it hurts really bad. It was not comfortable. I did not like it. It actually uh, instilled something in me. It, it said, make wise choices. Uh, so I've had it done two different ways. Um, one was where they just like tattooed this stuff in the skin. That one wasn't so bad. Uh, laser, I've had a couple times. I've never, <laughs> never gone to more than one session per spot. <laughs> uh, it sucks, you know, especially on the face because you just smell it and you feel it and it's curdling and it's burning. And it's, and then my whole face swells up for like a week, week and a half. Like it's, it's super unpleasant. Me and my friends had played hangman on my thigh, you know, just randomly one night, party night. So I was like, okay, maybe I should try and just like try how the machine feels like on this hangman. We start, you know, lasering it off. And it's, to me, it's 10 times worse than even getting the tattoo. But I've been so bad at going that I've gone like every year and a half. So it's not really, <laughs> it's defeating half the purpose, you know what I mean? Tattoo removal sucks. <laughs> it sucks bad. Uh, it's, it's awesome, like, yeah, I can change my mind. But uh, I don't know what's worse, like going through like three or five sessions of laser and then another two or three sessions of tattoo or just fucking doing like five or six sessions of tattoo and burying it under so much ink that you didn't need laser. If you're gonna get something that you don't like, be prepared for a whole lot of pain because it's, it's not that comfortable. And uh, you know, hopefully you'll get to a higher level of meditation state, you know, you'll, you get to this maybe test yourself further than tattooing if you're that type of person and you want that type of pain. It's not me though. I prefer I prefer tattooing without laser. I prefer getting tattooed without laser. Um, just it's added pain, that. <laughs> One tattoo I had removed uh, with Tattoo Vanish. It's an all natural process. And you use the same tattoo machine to work the skin and then it, it actually becomes a scab and it comes off. I actually got removed uh, one of my first tattoos I did on myself and it's gone 100%.
It was actually a fairly easy experience. It, uh, it, it, it's uncomfortable, certainly. It, it feels like rubber bands popping underneath your skin. But because it's such a faster process than tattooing, you can get through it pretty easy. I've gotten a bunch of stuff lasered and it's crazy how far the technology has come just in the past few years. Like I got an entire half sleeve lasered off and it was light enough to go over it in three sessions. And now I'm getting a dope uh, half sleeve from uh, Matt Driscoll and Gabe Londis instead of, you know, just blacking it out and pretending like, you know, that arm doesn't exist. You know, it's it's funny because my husband gets so mad that he hasn't lasered me yet because I've done so many tattoos on him. But what I'm scared, <laughs> I'm scared and it makes no sense because I know like extensive tattoos are so much more painful, but I also kind of value my shitty tattoos. I like to live with my mistakes, you know? <laughs> you need you need that shit to keep you in check sometimes. In my opinion, you gotta kind of welcome all that stuff. You know, that that's what formed you. It's like, you gotta embrace your darkness, man. You know, it's, it's part of the game. I mean, everything that you think of being super cool right now won't be that cool after some time. It's no point of seeing works that are 10 years old and thinking, oh, this is not so cool anymore. Uh, I might get something cooler because in 10 years it'll be, you know, the same thing. So who cares? I mean, every, every, every piece that I got reminds me a time and a place and that's fair enough for me. In my mind, I feel like unless you have something that's offensive to a, yourself or anyone else, for instance, then I'd say go ahead and get that removed. But otherwise, I feel like it's sort of a timeline of my bad decisions or things I was interested in earlier in my life. So I feel like it's important to leave those things there so I can see what my 18-year-old self liked compared to now, you know? So even if I hate some of the stuff, I think it's important as a reminder. I mean, at this point, I'm around tattoos enough. Like, I, I almost don't give a shit, you know? Like, if I have a bad tattoo, I almost kind of like it, you know? <laughs> like, like I'm, I am I looked at myself, and some of my tattoos were getting too nice, and I almost was a little bit, like, sad by that, because just not badass, you know? You know, embrace that shit. That's what connects us all. We all get to bad tattoos. If it's something, like, maybe you don't believe in anymore, or something that's, like, an extreme, you know, on, on that extreme end of the spectrum, yeah, by all means, but... Um, I always recommend clients laser shit if I'm gonna cover it, but I'll, I'll never do that because I'm lazy. The idea of laser removal comes down to, is that the necessary way to go? Are you trying to have it removed so that it looks like you don't have a tattoo at all? Or are you just trying to tattoo over it? Because if you're just trying to tattoo over it, you could lighten it a few steps and then do something over it. And then it comes down to, what's the tattoo? How bright is it? What's the new tattoo gonna be? How dark is it? There's a lot of different ways that you can kind of consider your options there. The laser process does work very well. It takes a very long time, but it does work really well. So I do recommend a lot of clients who want cover-ups to get a laser process done. People are so scared of lasers and I don't understand it. They come in with these big honking, like monstrosity tattoos that take up their entire body and they're like, can you cover this with some white flowers? I want it to be really feminine. And you're like, no. No, that's not how tattoos work at all. Go get lasered. And they're like, I don't want to get lasered. I'll just get it covered up for the seventh time. It's not that bad, but I mean, I'm just being a baby. It really helps when doing cover-ups to remove a tattoo with a laser. It makes a huge difference for the artist and it is uncomfortable. It does take a long time to do, but honestly, it opens up the amount of things you could use as a cover-up by a million. When you get a couple laser sessions and lighten things down, it's so much easier to cover a faded tattoo than a real dark brand new one. I recently started wanting to actually remove all my tattoos. I don't know why. Um, I do feel they're a part of me, but I would love to feel how it is to go incognito and just how people would look at you differently if you didn't have your tattoos. Because um, I don't notice it anymore, but my friends say to me that when I walk around, like people stare at me and they're like, does it ever bother you that you get looked at? And I just feel like I've been looked at for such a long time that that's my norm normal, um, but I just kind of want to experience how blended in I could be without my tattoos.